Corin. Mm -hmm. Just outside Victoria's spa capital, Dalesford, Tammy Jonas's pigs have a pretty good life. But like many small-scale farmers, she has limited options of where and how they're killed. It's terrible since our entire drive is about the ethics of how the animals are raised and killed. So it's, a, it's quite disempowering. Her pigs are currently killed in an abattoir that uses CO2 stunning. She's known for a while about the potential animal welfare implications, but she was still shocked by what she saw on 7.30. Watch 7.30 last night. If you didn't, it goes like this. Animal activists broke into pig abattoirs and filmed the use of CO2 to stun pigs before slaughter. We take the utmost care of those animals at that end of life. I didn't see any mistreatment of any animals during that process. This is very clearly about taking a piece of footage out of context. I thought it was awful. I don't think any animal should have its last 20 to 30 seconds of its life in so much pain and distress. And so we have to now solve the abattoir problem. She's taking matters into her own hands and building an abattoir that will service about 15 local farms. It'll be up to 30 pigs or six cattle in one day maximum and a maximum of one day a week, starting out only with actually every other week to start with. What process are you going to use for the stunning? We'll do captive bolt stunning. The bulk of the industry, however, uses CO2 stunning, the process shown on 7.30 in March. That process is legal and widespread, but tonight we can reveal further footage that's prompted an investigation by regulators. What we're calling for is an immediate suspension of the licences of the particular facilities that you see in the footage. In late January, Chris Delfour spent a night hiding above the gas chamber of this abattoir in southwest Melbourne. When Lawyers for Animals Australia later reviewed the hours of footage he captured, they discovered what they allege is cruelty at the Australian Food Group abattoir in Laverton. We were actually quite shocked and disturbed um, by the footage because what we realised was that the entire process of pig gassing, the entire operation, is in and of itself cruel. The vision shows pigs being struck with paddles, prodded and kicked as they're packed into the gondolas. This pig appears to have its legs stuck in the machine, freed just in time. A trotter on the floor of the abattoir suggests what the machinery can do, and not only to feet. Another overcrowded gondola. You can see here the back of the pig is um, outside of the gondola and unfortunately his testicle has been ripped off um, between the, the back of the gondola and the back wall. In Victoria, animals used in farming and meat production are exempt from the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act as long as they comply with relevant codes and standards. What this Australian mandatory standard says in terms of animal welfare compliance is that the animals must be handled in a way and the equipment must be used in a way that minimises minimizes the risk of injury, pain and suffering to the animals. At another abattoir Chris filmed at in Laverton, Diamond Valley Pork, pigs repeatedly have to walk over unconscious or dead animals as they're loaded into the gondola. The Australian Meat Industry Council has its own animal welfare standard that it uses as a matter of policy in these abattoirs. Now, that particular animal welfare standard specifically, specifically says that the practice of allowing animals to walk and trample over one another is unacceptable. Animals Australia filed a complaint about Diamond Valley pork with the Federal Agriculture Department. With regard to Australian Food Group, it complained to regulator PrimeSafe, which launched an immediate investigation into what it described as serious and disturbing allegations of mistreatment of animals. In a statement, PrimeSafe told 7.30 that investigation will seek to determine if anyone has breached the terms of a licence or otherwise broken the law. Supermarket giant Woolworths has now confirmed to 7.30 that it's been informed by Australian Food Group that as of four days ago, the facility is no longer operating as an abattoir. 
Neither abattoir responded to 7.30's questions and industry body Australian Pork Limited once again declined our requests for an interview, saying we care about our pigs and share the community's concern for their welfare, which is why we adhere to the global best practice of CO2 stunning. Last month, CEO Margot Andre told a parliamentary committee that CO2 was the most humane way to stun pigs. They literally go to sleep, so it's not a hands-on process. They literally go into a gondola a few at a time. The CO2 comes out and over a very micro amount of time, they go to sleep. Over the last 10 years, Australian Pork Limited has received over $50 million of public funding uh, to invest in R&D initiatives. Uh, unfortunately, they haven't uh, invested in uh, finding alternatives to CO2 gas dunning for pigs. Australian Pork Limited told 7.30 it continues to invest in research and development into animal welfare. But Jed Goodfellow from the Australian Alliance for Animals is calling for greater oversight of how public funding is used by livestock R&D corporations. Their priorities are completely skewed and they're not investing that public funding in research that is going to be contributing to the public interest in improving animal welfare. CO2 stunning is used across the United States and Europe, but one country is a notable exception. So when I buy bacon, ham or pork, I look for this sticker, 100% New Zealand. The science says that their pigs suffer before they lose consciousness. Um, they experience breathlessness, they experience pain, they experience fear and anxiety because of that breathlessness, because of that pain and because of an inability to escape from that situation. New Zealand primarily uses electrical stunning instead. Dr Nikki Kell says even though that method requires more handling and restraint of pigs, which they can find stressful, she believes it's still a better method than CO2. An electrical stun causes virtually immediate loss of awareness. So from an animal welfare perspective, that is by far preferable to carbon dioxide stunning. Back in Dalesford, Tammy Jonas is looking forward to the day she no longer has to send her pigs to an abattoir that uses CO2 stunning. She hopes the rest of the industry will follow suit. I think they should just stop CO2 stunning. Um, and to do that, they should stop killing so many pigs, you know. Actually, we need to go back to all these small systems and everyone eats a little bit less meat, only better meat, and from your local community.